my name is Diane Aaron Price, and I am the Associate Curator of Decorative Arts here at Monticello. As part of our ongoing cataloging project, we took a seriously long and, and interested look at a table that is a Jefferson original. We might call it an architect's table. When he was in Paris in the mid-1780s, it was called a table tranchant. That's based on a individual, Monsieur Tranchant, who advocated for healthful work positions. Tranchant wanted people to both be able to sit while working, but especially be able to stand. It's made in Paris. It has this rising mechanism, which is uh, made from mahogany and the whole lid can come up. And so Jefferson could stand and work here. We think a lot of his architecture, the designs for the University of Virginia, his plans for Monticello itself or Poplar Forest or Friends projects were probably executed on this table. We noticed along the edges of the table there are little brass caps and small holes have been drilled into the side of the edges. And this told us that it could receive accessories. And the one accessory that we still have is essentially a basket made out of metal that has a little pintle that can fit into one of those holes. And this is where the inkwell could sit. And it could uh, right itself so that it would stay level even when you had the table elevated. We know that we're missing some kind of leather covered ledger that could be affixed to these brass pins here that would keep the papers from falling off. The object itself, when we look at it, it is mahogany. Increasingly, we recognize that Jefferson bought quite a bit of mahogany furniture in Paris. He's essentially acquiring objects in the English style, style anglais, that was popular in Paris at the time. And like this piece of furniture so well that he ins ensures it's sent back, continues to use it here at Monticello throughout the rest of his life. And it's on view whenever you come and visit us here at Jefferson's Private Suite in the library.